Good morning. It is Karma Spence of Coffee with Karma. And this morning, I'm going to be talking about everybody's favorite topic, right? Book reviews. The good, the bad, the ugly. So as soon as you publish anything on Amazon, you may get reviews. <laughs> you also may not get reviews. <laughs> People may completely ignore it. But if you do get reviews, you're going to get reviews that make sense. You're going to get reviews that leave you wondering if they even read your book. And you're going to get reviews that tell you your crap. And you're going to get reviews that are so fluffy that you're glad they liked it, but you don't know what about the book they liked it. And then you're also going to get some really good reviews that help you move forward. So how do you navigate this, to use a term I often use, buffet of book reviews? Well, I'm going to give you three tips today so that you can navigate those book reviews and know which ones to do something about and which ones to go, eh, never mind. <laughs> but before I do that, I'm going to just give a little just in case for some reason you landed on this page and are watching this video and have no clue who Karma Spence is, I'm an award-winning and best-selling author. Uh, two of my books, I have five books out. Um, two of them have gone to bestseller. One has won three awards. I am certified in author marketing and I have oh, 30 years of experience in PR and marketing, including a master's degree in PR from what U.S. News and World Report called the number one public relations graduate program in the nation, the U.S., just in case you're wondering where I am. So first, when you're reading your reviews, think about where is the person coming from when they wrote the review, and is the information they are providing helpful to you? So. For example, uh, the last book I launched was the second edition of Home Sweet Homepage. And some of the reviews I said that said stuff like, I can't believe she wants me to give her my email address for the rest of the book. I'm sitting there thinking, what are you talking about rest of the book? Yes, I will give you a full course that's worth four or $500 that delves into the same topic as the book. And I'll give it to you for free if you give me your email address. But I don't know how checklists and video training and all that good stuff is the rest of the book. So clearly this person was off mark, but rather than just say, oh, that person's crazy, I thought, hmm, why does this reviewer think that I'm offering the rest of the book if you give me my, give me their email? And so I took a look at the messaging I had and I realized, although that's not my intent, I could see how someone could think that I was saying, and for the rest of the book, go over here. I never said the rest of the book. I said, if you want additional information, you know, all that kind of stuff, but I could see I probably wasn't as clear as I could have been. So even though this review was completely off the mark and it was negative, I learned something from it. And I, although I can't fix the book itself because it's printed, the next time I review it, I can change it. So that's what you need to do when you're looking at critical book reviews is where's the nugget of wisdom in this review that I can learn to be better next time? because that's what it's all about, getting better every day, right? In the, every day, in every way, <laughs> I am getting better and better, right? You can become a better author by paying attention to the critical reviews and pulling out the nuggets of learning from them. Now, you're also going to receive positive feedback. And some of it is gonna be, oh my gosh, you're so awesome! And that's great. Oh, doesn't that make you feel wonderful? But it doesn't help you or move you forward. 
the positive reviews I like to pay attention to are the ones that say, I really like the way she did this. I really appreciated that she included this. Because that kind of information tells me, okay, I hit the right mark and I should do something like that again in my next book. So again, even in the positive reviews, you want to pull out the nuggets of wisdom that can help you be better the next time you do that book or another book. And finally, now this is kind of cool. At least on Amazon, I have not checked other platforms, but at least on Amazon, you can respond to book reviews. And I recommend that you wait wait a, a little bit of time if it's really caused an emotional reaction because you don't want to have your response be you knucklehead <laughs> yeah, no what you want your book review i mean your book review response to be is something that acknowledges the person where they are and then adds information that might help them change their mind or appreciate you so for example, I didn't know this at the time, but the person who said, I can't believe that she wants my email for the rest of the book, I could have said something to the effect of, I'm sorry that I somehow misled you into believing that there was the rest of the book. The book that you purchased for 99 cents or $10 or whatever is the whole book. There is no rest of the book what I'm offering for your email address is a $500 e-course that delves into the similar topics more deeply. That would have turned it around so that the next person reading that review would see my response and realize, oh, she's not really asking for an email address for the rest of the book. So you can turn bad book reviews around by providing a thoughtful, neutral response that adds information that might help them process where, where what's going on. And, and if there isn't a simple answer like that, you can say, thank you for that feedback. I will definitely take that into consideration in my next edition. You are responding as a calm adult and you're adding information and you're making the next person who reads that review possibly think better of you and maybe even better of your book. So now I'd like to hear from you. What have you done with your book reviews? Share your experiences. Have you gotten good ones, bad ones, somewhere in between ones? How have you responded? Have you drowned your sorrows in a pint of Ben and Jerry's or have you taken action and turned it around and used it to become a better author? I'd love to hear your story. Just put that in the comments below. And that is it for this Coffee with Karma. Ciao for now.